Shelby is a town of about 20,000. We're about an hour west of Charlotte, North Carolina. The internet is really important for the Shelby business community because it's a huge outlet for them to get visibility. A lot of our businesses are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, some are on Snapchat. I think it's really opened up the world to knowing Shelby because it brings more attention to our community than might otherwise arrive here. So much of what you're going to do as far as promoting yourself or marketing your product is going to be not necessarily local. Uh, the internet and having, a, a, having an active social media as well as an active website is completely vital to the success of our businesses. That's, that's how you search, that's how you find where you want to go. Well, small towns like Shelby benefit from the internet in a number of ways. The idea of a local shop owner to sell globally uh, by simply having a Facebook page is a powerful thing. By having an internet presence is a powerful thing. So if you're a local shop owner, you want that presence on the internet so you can broaden your market from a small town to uh, national and international markets. Our customers just absolutely love to see things that we post on Facebook or tweet about or the interaction with our customers and getting to see their, their fur babies on, online and on Facebook and Twitter. It's just been, it's been unbelievable and, and it's almost like our social media family. If you're not a big corporation, the best way and the most affordable way to reach the masses is social media. And now you almost cannot do business without having some type of social media platform to keep you connected and humanized to your customer. We actually started our business on Facebook when I was 14 years old. Um, I was still in high school and we decided to start Flucy Girls Boutique. After about two years, we expanded and had a storefront where we could offer um, different products for our customers and we added clothing also. You know, owning a small business, it's really important to have a personal relationship with your customer and using Facebook, you can be even closer with that customer. We use the internet for a lot. We, I mean, we do Facebook, we love to do live broadcast. We do Instagram and Twitter. We do Google. Uh, we make sure our name is placed at the, you know, if someone's looking for wine, our name pops up the first four or five places. So we really work that as much as we can. Uh, when they know a certain group's coming, I mean, you see the surge in business. You see, and it's just because it got out like that. There's, you know, there's no posters. We do a few, but there's not, you just don't, it's amazing how it works sometimes. Well, as awesome as Shelby is, it's still a relatively small, very rural area. Um, so we're limited to a few hundred or maybe a few thousand customers or potential customers. But in, with the internet, eBay and other, other online stores, that expands exponentially. So instead of a hundred or a thousand, we potentially have millions of potential customers that can be a participant here at the Imperial Emporium. I think policymakers in Washington or in the states uh, should be approaching internet policy in a very delicate fashion. Uh, it's important that we foster and grow an open internet and people's access to uh, communicating with their neighbors and uh, communicating around the globe. It's a powerful thing and policymakers shouldn't stifle that powerful thing.